I remember once being rather impressed with a horror film titled Vinyan. I don't remember how I came across it, although I remember admiring it when I saw it. I chose to revisit this film to see how it held up. I realise that this film's director, Fabrice Du Wells, was also responsible for 2004's The Ordeal. I had seen The Ordeal once, and then accidentally watched it again, not knowing I had seen it before. Yeah, that film's second half brought back some repressed memories. Uh, it's, it's, an, it's an interesting horror film, but we're not discussing that one today. Rather, 2008's Vinyan. The title, Vinyan, refers to the Thai word for ghost. This spooky ditty follows the wealthy couple Janine and Paul. This couple, originating from France, lost their son in the 2004 tsunami. Half a year later, staying in Thailand, Janine spot, spies a figure in the background of a video recording she believes to be Josh, their son. She is determined to find him, and the couple's search has them lost among the more mysterious islands of the Mergui archipelago. This film has very interesting undercurrents of a post-colonial resentment toward the Western world. This couple originates from a nation whose prosperity is deemed to have been attained at the expense of imperialism, let's say. Now they visit the former colony as an exotic oriental holiday, this nation still seemingly economically dependent on the investments of Western nations. This couple goes around demanding that their child be found, treating the locals as unintelligent primitives, or at least Paul does. Disregarding all of the malnourished humans around them, the couple deems their child the priority, and eventually come face to face with the offspring of the damned. How many orphans has the West been responsible for in this region of the world? How many could their individual citizens prevent if they spent their wealth on charity towards the developed world, rather than treating it as a source of their entertainment? These or similar implications are definitely present in this film's screenplay, or at least I'd be extremely surprised if this wasn't the case. Paul constantly suspects the worst of the local Thai peoples, and not just because he senses their resentment, but because he cannot deny their resentment. The mother insists that her love for her child will conquer all, win over the hearts of those around them, although the father recognises that there may be blood on his hands. Figuratively. This is a film which can both be enjoyed as a satiating 90-minute horror feast or as a pulpy allegory which uses the horror genre as a metaphor for socio-political musings. Either or, I'd highly recommend Vinyan to anyone who enjoys horror and to anyone intrigued by its apparent alleged subtext.